Okay, now I'm my spring to lock on. I grab this and give it a yank. Came off pretty easy. Undo the spindle lock and then I just turn it with a hand wheel. Hand wheels on the lathes are quite useful, I think. <coughs> now I'm going to undo this. Uh, take the worm screw out there. Take my bowl here or my bowl blank and put it in there like that. Again, undo my spindle lock. Take a look all the way around and make sure that it's seated. Yeah, it looks seated. It looks nice and square and straight. And I'm going to just tighten this up. You know, tighten it up pretty good. I mean, you don't have to burst the blood vessel, but you know, you might as well give it a good snug one. Looks like it's turning pretty good. Okay, I'm going to turn it on, stepping off to the side, because you know, why be in the line of fire if you don't have to be? Running really nice. Okay, and I'm going to set up my tool rest, give it a spin to make sure it doesn't hit nothing, get my half inch gouge again, and following out the I know this is pretty aggressive hollowing, but I'm looking at doing a bunch here in a row, and so I want some speed on this. Okay, the half inch bowl gouge is actually, for me, getting a little bit big in here to turn that corner, so I'm going to switch to the 3 8 bowl gouge. Just a regular 3 8 bowl gouge. Um, the only thing different about it is that I've ground the, uh, the heel, I guess you could call it, off there to give myself a little more room there. So it's kind of imitating even a smaller gouge in size, and that'll let me get around the corner on the bottom there hopefully. Uh, something else I just wanted to point out that I do is when I'm turning on these, of course, you know, when you turn any kind of a winged vessel, here you're turning wood, here you're turning air, here you're turning wood again, and, you know, that can be problematic if you push, you can't rely on the, on the pushing the bevel so much because, you know, you're going to come up to air. So what I like to do is I kind of weight my, the gouge into the tool rest more than I normally would. Um, I don't really push on it very hard, but I kind of like put my focus downwards, if that makes sense, to kind of ground the, the, the gouge onto the rest better. I don't know if that makes any sense, but anyways, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crank the speed up here a bit. Let's go up to... Huh. That's 1795. That's a bit fast, but uh, I'm looking at the video there and it looks almost like it's stop motion, which is kind of cool. The only thing about turning that fast is that the, uh, the gap between the air and the, and the wood there is time-wise, ends up being a lot smaller, so... Stop. Empty out those shavings. It's getting pretty good. My width across here is about 10%, I guess, if I was to grab a tape measure and measure it. That's maybe, oh, I don't know, 8 centimeters across, and that's a little right around a centimeter or slightly less. The bottom's still a bit thick here. I want to take some more out of there, and then I'll be done.
this is a green turning. This is a a rough a rough out. This is a when it's done, which I guess is now. That's about right. It's going to go in the uh, DNA bath, the denatured alcohol bath, and uh, for 24 hours or so. And then uh, after that, it will um, get wrapped up in some paper for a couple, three weeks. And then uh, I'll finish turning it. Uh, it'll be a bit thinner than this, not that much, as you can see. Um, not bad, the shape here is a little bit off still, it needs to be a little bit tighter around here, but like I say, it's a green turning, so there's lots of, of room yet to improve. So that's about it, that's how I quickly turn, or green turn, or rough out a, uh, in this case, a natural edge bowl, that's going to then later have to return to the lathe to uh, be finished turned. That's it, thank you very much, hope you enjoyed that, maybe learn something, never know. Oh, I just wanted to add here that my ways of working are, are not necessarily the safest or the best ways or anything like that. It's stuff that I've worked out has worked for me from watching other people and reading books and watching DVDs. Um, i got to say that, you know, use your, use your brains and uh, if you've got that little voice in the back of your head saying, Oh my God, this is going to hurt! Then uh, stop doing what you're doing and think about it. Um, everything that I've done here, I've done lots of times and, and uh, I've kind of changed my way of working around. I'm nowhere near a pro level. I think I'm getting a little bit experienced and skilled, but I have a long ways to go yet. If you got some comments or, or remarks or want to tell me that I've, you know, kind of got my uh, head in the wrong place and I need to rethink what I'm doing, please do comment on the videos because uh, one of the reasons I put them out here is is to uh, learn myself, is to have other people, you know, look at what I'm doing and say, hey, that's that's not exactly the best way to do it. You should try this. So uh, feel free to comment. Uh, uh, constructive criticism is, is one of the best ways to learn. So there you go. Thank you very much.